It's Saturday morning at 10.30 a.m. and the temperature is already hitting 34 degrees. But luckily my tram has air conditioning as I make my way across London to the borough of Merton before catching a bus to Cannon Hill Common and the relief of the woodland tree canopy. So about two years ago, you will remember, I visited an award-winning allotment site called the Paddocks. And I've come back because they're having their summer show today. And what a day. It is about 34 degrees and it's only half 12. And I remember you have to walk through the woods to get to the allotment. So I'm hoping I'm headed in the right direction but let's just have a quick look at the river and this is the thing there is no river the river has completely dried up nothing there as long as there's a cup of tea there I'll be happy quite nice to be in the shade to be honest have a walk around the allotment site when I get there. I think I've found it. I'm not quite sure. I can see a fence. So I think I, my memory has served me right. Now I'm hoping to see a big banner announcing that I've actually found it. Let's have a look if there is one. Or have I just turned up in a random street? There we go, here we are, at the paddocks. Despite no rain all summer and overbearing temperatures, I was pleased to see such a wonderful show, full of exhibits compared to the other shows that I visited this year. It was truly beautiful to see the effort had been put into this show by the members. And this is the shop that they have where you don't need to go to a garden centre if you belong on this site. They've got everything. Dustbins. Try to. Yeah, dustbins, seeds, every single thing you can think of. Composts and everything, don't you? Oh, we've got compost out here. Yeah. yeah. So when are you open? Uh, every Sunday, 10 till 12.
Well, the show has now started and the crowds are turning up, so I thought I would take the opportunity to just walk around the site and have a look how the plots are doing. Now they tell me, like my own plot, we've had nothing but solid uh, sunshine. No rain, that's the problem. So a few plots have suffered. And one plot, there's been a bit of uh, sinkage going on because there's just no moisture in the soil. But let's have a little walk around anyway and have a look at the... Oh, it's getting hot already. Let's have a look at the uh, the plot, because this, you will remember, is an award-winning allotment site. But tell me below, how is your plot fed this year? Is this just a north-south issue with the weather that we've had, or have you had uh, four months of solid sunshine where you are? Don't forget to tell me where you are in the comments below. Right, look at these dahlias. These are wonderful. Look at this, a riot of colour. Let's just pop down there. Look at them. I do like these dahlias here, these sort of pom-pom ones. And look at that one there. I wonder if that's just faded because of the sun. I'm going to do a lot of dahlias next year. I like these salmon ones around the corner here. Look at these. Look at the colours on that. Stunning. So let's just have a little wander around. So you can come and see the show. And then after you've seen the exhibit and you've had a cup of tea and a slice of cake, you're then invited to come and have a little mosey on around. Now usually the plot holders are stood on their plots and you can ask them questions. But this year, I think they're all hiding indoors. This gentleman here, he featured in the video last time that I came here. <laughs> and if you're working full time, waste of time because you need to be uh, every day or every second day to keep on top of it. Because don't forget, these plots are 50. What are the bump? 50 by 25? I think so, yeah. 50 feet by 25 wide. Nice. And you know, I've got one, yeah. and my missus has got one. So that's two plots I've got to keep going. So I've just trimmed all the grass this morning and cut it with the lawnmower. I've just got to go and finish it off now. Gives you good exercise and you meet a lot of people up here. Yeah, it's There's a bit of a breeze, but even the breeze is hot. What's this now? Caution. Is this where... Is... Yes, something's gone on there. So let us walk to the left. I was told there's a really nice plot down here somewhere. No, that's a good idea there. So they've opened the shed door, uh, the greenhouse door, but they've made a construction of netting so that no cats or foxes can get in. And it's just put on a simple frame. That's a good idea, that is. Might have to borrow that idea. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Walk around, get inspiration from other plot holders and use it on your own plot. But look at those sweet peas there. They, they looked nice in their day, but the weather has taken them. This is a stunning plot over here. Look, let's have a look. And beautiful dahlias on the side here, again. I like the orange ones. I wonder what these are called. If anybody knows the name, tell me below. Looks to be a lot of colour on this one. Let's have a look at this. This is like tajetes or marigolds. Now this is interesting. Look at this here. 
tomatoes have got bags on. I'm not sure what that is all about. They've got bags surrounding the actual tomatoes. Interesting. Uh, welcome to the uh, 34th Paddock Show. Just before we start, just to um, say it's Jan's last show. Right. <laughs> She's been doing it for the last 22 years, and uh, even over the last 25 years, uh, Jan's, I don't know who wrote this rubbish. <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh, she's run the show, she's cooked the breakfast, she's done the shopping, <laughs> and she's done the Christmas dinners, and it, the time's come that she wants to go up now. But I'm getting old. <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot, Jane. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so you stay for doing the time by that. Make one uh, run up to Vader, so it's so stay in it. a rather impressive cage and look at this it's more of a garden nice bit of brickwork going around attach of teas in the in the middle there nice greenhouse that's that's rather beautiful especially when you take into consideration the weather Look, they said watch out for the cracks, and yes, the ground is cracking up, but I think it's this bit here where they said there's a bit of substance coming. Maybe that's it there. It's nice just to walk around, isn't it? Just have a look. I wonder if that's an exhibit or whether that bike is actually somebody's. Let's go up here. It's just a shame there's nobody out to have a chat to. Oh, look. More bags. Could be to protect them from wasps. What do you think? I have seen something on this on on social media but I can't remember the reasoning behind it now so what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on my Instagram see if anybody on there knows see they're over here as well I was hoping it would be cooler walking around the plots but the heat is Oh, that, that's a nice bit of wind there. The heat is bouncing off 
the soil off the structures. Look at this plot, yeah. They like slab stones. This is a nice one. This is what I would this is what I would like for mine. Slab stones, big beds. The cost of slab stones at the moment is ridiculous. I was looking in a garden centre the, the other week and they were about ten pound each. Ten pound each for slabs. I, don't, I just don't know what the world's coming to. But when it's done right, look at that. Looks beautiful. Right, let's go up here. Carrots. Carrots in a water butt. In a water tank, I mean. See, I, I can't, I can't even talk with the heat. <laughs> they like their runner beans on this side, I must say. Oh, look at that view. Back down there. It's nice just to stand underneath this tree here. And get a bit of shade. But let's let's carry on. There's more to see. There's loads of plots on this side. I was talking over a cup of tea to some of the members and we all agreed that it would be nice now to get some rain so we can get on ready for the autumn I'm very keen to get on look at that shed I'm very keen to get on it's just the weather's just too hot this is a nice setup here nice shed look at this it's like a greenhouse and a shed together No windows though. Oh, I bet they're sweat, sweaty around the legs, isn't there? Right, let's head down on the left now and have a look because I think I'm heading to a dahlia growers plot. Very lucky these people to have a bit of shade. See that even the birds don't want to fly off. I bet it's warm in that greenhouse on the left. It's a homemade greenhouse made out of roofing bits. Let's have a quick look. Number five, look at that. That's a structure. It's hardly a cloud in the sky. See, look at this. So hot that, oh, you can smell it as you just stand here. Strong smell of fish. Maybe they've been Putting blood fish and bone down. <laughs> oh, I think that tree has outgrown its cage. Beautiful plot on this side here with a collection of zinnias. Beautiful colours there. And very easy to do from seed, these are. Beautiful colours. You can't really see them there because the sun is in the way. So if I stand there, look at that. Stunning array. And they're quite a sturdy plant. And you can take them as cut, cut flowers as well. Put them in a vase. There's some down this side as well. Past the, the verbena here. Look at them. Beautiful colours. And they'll flower all summer and into the autumn. Next door to some beautiful dahlias. Look at the colour on that one. Nice salmon. 
at the aubergine. Look oh. at the size on that. Several. I mean, Huge. It's just utterly amazing. And actually, I'll just put my hand down here. I oh, know that's a small one, but this one is just. Oh yes. Just hoping the bugs don't eat them before I pick them. They're actually ready to pick. Beautiful size. Can't believe it. You, they're as big as, you know, the aubergine in Waitrose. Do you find these are quite easy to do from seed? Um, I don't do seed. Oh, you, you bought the plants? They, 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 these are grafted plants. Oh, right. Um, it's much more difficult to get things true from seed. Yeah. But that is, a, and it looks like you've got quite a few to see you through the season. Oh, I've got a hell of a lot. I mean, the, the, you know, last year I hardly got any. You, you don't know. It's like the courgettes. Um, one minute you've got 20, and uh, the next minute there's nothing. How long have you had this plot? Um, I don't know, about 10 years, I suppose. Oh, right. Yeah. Beautiful display. Will you save seed from these or just buy some more plants next year? No, these are all seeds. These, right. these come from seeds. It's, it's the fruit of the Yeah. Yeah, quite easy to do. But, uh, absolutely, just amazing. That's just two packets of seeds, one bed and another bed. Yeah. I think that seems to have died that one, but there you go, it doesn't matter. I've got plenty more. And they seem to be putting up with the weather. Oh, I, I do watch them a lot. Mm. <laughs> Look at this plot, he's lucky. Well, he might not be lucky, but he's in complete shade here. And look at these greenhouses, which he's built from scratch. Look at the setup here. So he's taken out a pain because he's got his onions there, ready for the show. And he's picked a lot of his dahlias for, for the show as well. Chrysanthemums, they haven't come yet because they're mostly September. But again, stones, slab stones, and it works quite well. It's just that initial cost is expensive. And look at these, Rebecca's stunning. Look at that from that side. And the bees will love them. Stunning. Could do with a bit of water, but couldn't we all? How long have you had your plot then? Oh, I think about 10 years. Have you? Yeah, yeah. And what do you sort of get from it? Not from a veg point of view, but... I think, I think it's got to be a, a relaxation and a, and a kind of a s escape from the, from the bustle of Morden. Especially during the recent years? It's been a, an absolute oasis here to be able to come here. Yeah. Well, tell me about this, tell me about this tree here. Because it looks like it's been here for 20 years. Um, well, Did you plant it? It, it, it? When I arrived it was here. It's a, it's a Bramley apple. And um, it, I've, I've, I've tackled it quite hard I've, to try and keep it in check. And the more I've done so, the more it's rooted. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Unfortunately, every, every apple on it's got a bug in. But apart from that, it's just pretty good. It's a nice sunscreen. Now, what I must say is, I'm impressed by possibly the cleanest shed that I've ever seen. Well, that's very kind of you. It's well ordered. You would... And you've got space for a it's tea. a complete contrast to the house. I can keep the shed here ordered. And you've got a nice space there for a cup of tea. Yeah, 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 with the mod cons, yeah. I love these water tanks that they have these doors on top so during the winter the autumn you can put them down stop the leaves from blowing in I think that's quite a nice idea something I could do on my plot so I haven't finished my walk around yet I've been told to go and look at, at a rose garden so taking extra care not to fall down the cracks so they said there's like a rose pagoda down here so hopefully I'll find it a few over tea were saying that they agree, agree with me they prefer the autumn and the winter
on a plot. Look at this Christmas tree. I was in a garden centre the other day and a tree like that would cost about £2,000. Ah, I think I can see the roses. Ah, this is the plot we came to a bit earlier. There it is. This was the, the one. It was the one with all the fancy stones. But we missed out on the roses. Well, let's have a look at them. Look at them. And what a beautiful metal archway this is. And obviously with the weather it will change colour. But yes, that is a very nice plot indeed. So I've just bumped into the owner of this plot. And apparently this year they've had a lot of trouble with birds, pigeons, jackdaws. That they are sucking the life out of fruit and especially the tomatoes. So they've put these bags on just to try and deter them. And he said that it is working quite well. He also said to go and have a look at his scarecrow. Oh, there it is. That, that made me jump. I was expecting it to be on the left of me. Look at that. I was going to look at this beautiful shed here. Look at the, the colours there. Now that's a nice picture. And stained glass windows. This is an idea that I could do on mine. Look how cute that looks. He's watching over you. Wonderful. I'm going to take some pictures of this plot and put them on my Instagram. I'll put the link on screen so you can go and have a look at them. Let's have a look. And where's the door for the shed then? Ah, look at this floor as well. Beautiful floor. And doing it in the old Victorian kitchen garden way of pots to hang the nets off the pots loving this plot so that's the shed sweet peas round the door let's have a look inside their greenhouse nice selection of peppers in there oh look at that there they won't mind if I come in and have a look. It's a watering can that is wired up through a drip feed. That's a good idea. Oh, it's warm in here. Let's get out. I'm sweating in places I shouldn't be sweating. But I just like the feeling of this plot. It's like old, not well, to some people this would be junk, but it's old Victoriana feel picket fence I do love a picket fence look at that it's like the type of fences you get down the railway let's have a look down the other side of his plot it's a shame he's not here he could have given us a tour old dust bins here and a compost bin which seems to have strawberries and courgettes on top I would imagine carrots have been grown in there. See, it's all packed in. Just goes to show how much you can do in a small space. But I do love this path. I'm taking plenty of ideas from this plot. Sometimes you find plots and you think, oh, that's good. I'll use that. And then other times you find some other plots where everything you see is an inspiration. I wonder if this is his as well. Look at that outdoor space there. Come and sit underneath a very mature apple tree. I think this could be somebody else's plot. But look at that. Look at that there now. That's worthy of Chelsea. 
Well, yet again, another beautiful day down at the paddocks. It's a pleasure to come to a site where everybody is up for sharing their knowledge and showing you around the plot. It's a real treat to come to this site. And maybe next year I'll come a bit more often and we'll follow a few of the plot holders as they get ready for the show. And I might be back in a few weeks, in fact, because they have this thing on a Sunday where they have like uh, a breakfast club where people can come pay, pay a, f uh, a few pounds and you can have a breakfast. And apparently it's quite busy. So we'll come back and do that. Another beautiful plot there. So thanks for joining me on another trip around the paddocks. I'll put a link to the last video that I made here in the description below. And I will catch up with you next time, hopefully on a cooler day. So from me until then, bye for now.